let me tell you for something. If you don't know how to play chess, <laughs> you're missing a lot. I can see that. I am missing. You're really missing. Now you can never see two bishops on the same. my channel so all the chess lovers get right here get right to my channel so if you're new to my channel forget to subscribe to my channel like and comment so on today's video I'm here with a chess champion one time did this one time that one time this that that that, that. well she did that introduction very well so on today's video she's going to teach us how to play chess I'm a learner too so I'm also here to learn how to play chess also if you are not interested, maybe she might convince you to like how to play chess. And also, in the aspect of I know that chess is a very the mind, like the mind game. I have heard some stories about chess you get, like so. I think this this, this video will help with that to be more interested in going into chess and also in life situations, it could actually help you actually when you can say, Okay, when the king wins, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how they say that anymore. Anyway, so much thing has cost So, <laughs> so today. Let me show this hard to you guys. All right. Hi everybody. My name is Precious Avazwe. I'm a 500 level dental student. Um, one time chess Olympiad, that was 2018. I was best female chess player in Nigeria, 2016, 2017, 2018. I've represented Nigeria in so many tournaments. I've also represented states in different tournaments. I also represented schools in different tournaments. My secondary schools, even university, because I went for Nougat Games 2017 and I came out with gold. So, so many laurels to my name. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. That's really amazing. Okay, so let's get right into the video. So, three of how, like, what made her to like to start liking up play chess? How did she develop the passion of playing chess? Like, what advice do you think that people should like should key into yours that why am I like why do I love why do I love playing chess? I think that's the right word. Why do I why do you love playing chess? Uh, okay. Yeah, what inspired you to just going to Okay, chess? first of all I'm going to tell you guys how I started playing chess. Well it was my secondary school, I went to Queen's College, Lagos and then QC is a really nice school. They had like all sports, different sports and games there. So I entered the gym one day and then I saw images one and I saw them playing chess and I was amazed. I was like, okay, what is this? And I decided to just stay and look. And you know, in that two hours I stayed there, I was able to grab so much and it just interested me. I came back the next day, I started learning and under like two weeks or three weeks I could play chess. I could play. I wasn't good. <laughs> okay. So and then the coach then saw potentials in me. You know, kept coaching, we kept coaching, coaching, went for tournaments and I was doing well and that was it. That was how I started playing chess. Wow, like there was not nothing so like so particular, you just found yourself in. I just found yeah, wow. exactly. And, and then, then you've just been in love with the game. Yes. And wow. my what encouraged me was my first my first tournament I actually went because I, st I started playing chess and my first tournament I went I did well and I was like oh really that was like I'm so good in this let me put my all you know in this and I did okay and I'm here <laughs> I'm a good okay so how to set up your chess piece first of all the white is always on one and two and then the black is always on seven and eight so now your rook your two rooks your two rooks so your rook will stay at the extreme, two rooks at the extreme, followed by your knights, your two knights, they go next, then your two bishops, they go in next, then the white queen is always on her color, and the black queen always on her color. So the black queen, the white queen stays on her color, the black queen stays on her color, 
and then the king beside it. And then your pawns in front. The pawns are like the babies of of the chess piece. They are the babies. They have the potential to be anything in life. When they reach the end of the chessboard, they can decide to be a rook, a knight, a bishop, or even a queen. But they can never be a king. That's a sad Brief part. introduction on how Thank to you. play chess. First of all, this is a chessboard, and then it has 64 squares, 32 dark squares, and then 32 light squares. Now you see your chess pieces. There are 16. Each each color is 16 in number. The white is 16, and then the black also 16 pieces. So um, this this piece is the pawn. It's called the pawns. P a w n s. This is the rook. This is knight, bishop, king, queen, bishop, knight, rook. Am I setting your chess piece? The white pieces stay on one and two, and then the dark pieces stay on seven and eight. You can see that the chessboard is numbered, and then with, with numbers and alphabets too. So, how each piece is moved? I'll start with my pawns. These are my pawns. For their initial move, they either take two steps or one step, and then after the initial move, subsequently they take one more step forward. The pawns can never go backward. Now to our knight. Our knight move L shaped. Two, two, two steps in front and one step beside. What do I mean? One, two, three. So my knight can stay here or can move here. The knight is complicated. It's, it's mostly complicated manner. Now my rook. How my rook moves? It moves just straight. Four cornered squares any step you can move from here you can move all the way here if nothing is blocking it from here you can move all the way here if nothing is blocking it you can also move one step if you decide to move one step just so that the rook moves four corner square then our bishop now see in for each for each colors you have one dark bishop and one one dark bishop and one light bishop now you can never see two bishops on the same color. Two same bishop on the same color. What do I mean? Your two white bishops can never be on the same color. One will always be on the dark square and the light square. Now how they move? They move diagonally. Any step diagonally. Any step diagonally. Any step diagonally. That's how they move. Now for the queen. The queen is a combination of the bishop and the rook. Now what do I mean? If the queen is here, the queen can move diagonally, any step diagonally. Or four corner square, any step. Any step four corner square. That's how the queen moves. Then the king. The king is so big and so lazy that he moves one step around it. Just one step around it. Now, if you look clearly, you can see a square around it. So that's the only space the king can move. Here, 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 or here. So just one step around. That's how the king moves. Now, we're going to be saying the point of each piece. Now the rook had the the pawn sorry has one point. The rook has five points. The knight has three. The bishop has three. The queen has nine. Sorry. And then the king has uncountable. That's why you can never capture the king. What you do, you check the king, or you either checkmate the king. And now the aim of chess is to checkmate your opponent's king. What do I mean by checkmate? You're supposed to be attacking the king in a position or in a way that the king cannot do anything. He cannot block, he cannot run away, and he cannot capture what you're using to attack. Let me just show you. Now this is a perfect example of checkmate. My queen, I told you my queen moves diagonally, right? So if you see, my queen is diagonally attacking the king. Now, the king cannot capture my queen. Why? Because the king moves one step around. So this is two steps and the king cannot jump to, to capture it. Now, 
The king doesn't have any other piece around it that can capture. The bishop cannot capture this. The knight cannot. The rook cannot. The pawn cannot capture it. And then the king cannot also block. There's a space here, but the king cannot use any piece to block because there is no piece around here that moves this way. So this is this is what we call a checkmate. I'm attacking my king. I'm attacking the opponent's king, sorry, and the opponent cannot do anything. So this is just a brief introduction in chess. Thank you. Okay, and this is also our chess clock. We use it to play the game of chess. And then how it works, you're playing your opponent. When you make your move, when you make your move, with the same hand, you tap. Your opponent makes his move. Your opponent makes his move. And with that same hand taps so whoever's time falls down first and has not won on the chessboard has lost so it's two ways you either win on the chessboard or you win on the chess clock mm. now use it to play some advanced tournaments i mean big, for beginners you don't you don't use the chess clock for beginners so about to start and I like using the E4 opening, that's playing your king's pawn first, that way you get to control the center. Now how this E4 opening goes, you play your king's pawn, your E4 pawn, then your two knights out, controlling the center too. Then after that your two bishop, your two bishops, which also helps to control the center. Because controlling the center is a very crucial part of this chess game at the opening stage. Then after that, I like to castle for my king's safety. Because, I mean, chess, the aim of chess is to checkmate the king. So if I can secure my king, then I think I'm good at the beginning. Then after my, after my castling, with all this opening, it doesn't mean you don't have to play also what you see on the board like if i say my knight play your knight out if there is something else happening on the board you have to play according to what's on the board so that's that about the opening game the opening game is basically securing the center and then castling then the middle game is now the tactical aspect that's when you calculate and exchange pieces capture pieces and a lot of people make blunders in the middle game it's the most crucial part of the game then after the middle game it's the end game where at that point almost all your pieces must have been captured and then you're probably just left with a pawn and your rook or something like that then it's it's also it also um, deals with tactical knowledge but not as much as the middle game so let me just leave you guys to watch my play and enjoy okay so we've been able to convince you and we've been able to teach you how to play chess so if you're really interested you can come and meet her put a number i'll give it to you so you come come and teach her you pay money it's not free <laughs> Follow me, on, follow me on Instagram at yes. Black. Mm -hmm. Hey, yes. So if you want more ideas and more, maybe you are a chess player already and you want more hints, you know, she's a champion. Yeah, I should be clean her feet, you know. What about I want? God, but it's well. Okay, so um, we're going to ask her um, what inspired her to play chess. Like, what inspired you to play chess? Like, why did you, what, what like, as you're playing chess, what has kept you going? Like, how has it helped you to handle life and all this stuff? Yeah. Okay, first off, um, what has kept me going? What really has kept me going is the tournament I go for and the people I meet and I aspire to be better than them. I grew up in Lagos. I know Lagos has a lot of opportunities and a lot of chess tournaments there. So, each tournament you go for, you see people that are better than you, people that are so good. Like I know this guy that was number one um, chess player, male chess player then. His ambition, his struggles, you know, like I inspired to be like him and then that actually kept me going, wanting to be better and better and better and better. Yeah. Okay, so what about your your wins, your your loss, like how has it been, like your greatest opponents and who that you finally won even after you thought you're going to lose and then 
start with what? So, okay, first of all, I'm going to start with my three most painful lusts. Wow. Huh. Now, first of all, when I was in just two or just three, there's something called fair call games that we're supposed to go for, and then we played qualifiers to go to go for it. This was a chess game I was winning. I was clearly winning this game. And one simple mistake, I lost that game and I wasn't able to go for fair court games. Child. Throughout that night, I cried. I went to my sister's class, I cried because it was really painful. It was really painful. The fact that it was already a one game for me, but just a simple mistake, I lost it. And I could not now go for fair court games. That was one. Two was one game in the Olympia 2018 when we went for Chess Olympia. Played against um, Argentina and the lady, it was also a win game for me. It was a win game for me. She was even about, she offered me draw. She said, let's draw the game. And I said, no, cause I had won the game. Really, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was fatigue or what. I made a mistake again and I lost. <laughs> it was so painful. It was really, really painful. And so another painful loss was when we went for Lavgeka games. We were playing against King's College boys. And those boys like to brag. Like they really like to brag. They can play chess, they can play chess. So they, know sh they don't know shit. Nothing. Nothing. And I was right there about to put them in their shoes where they belong. It was a winning game for me. I don't know what happened again. <laughs> and I lost. It was so painful. I can remember when I was quite younger. Anytime I lose a game, I cry, I cry. But man, the girl is older now. And I don't do that again. I just <laughs> take it as a learning yeah, process. Because yeah. you don't always keep winning. You just. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can't. Like, yeah, you can't always. Just, yeah, you learn from it. And it's, it's a learning, learning process. It's yeah, exactly. a learning process. Yeah. yeah. So, so, how about your wins? Hmm. My greatest win. First one. So now I'm just going to be saying three of my greatest win. Hmm. First of all, when I won my coach, the game of chess. I mean, I kept playing, kept playing, kept playing. <laughs> became good, and I won my coach. Imagine being your coach. You don't know the joy. Oh, I was what? so. <laughs> Imagine being your lecturer. <laughs> I was so happy, man. Like, I was wow. Then, secondly, it was when we went for Achimota Games because there's my school, my secondary school, rather, there's this um, thing called Achimota Games. We play QC, King's College, and then this school in Ghana, Achimota School in Ghana. So, we have this um, game, inter, inter school games. So, this year we go to Ghana, next year they come over here to Nigeria. So, we went there, images too. And those girls were good. They were good. And then I was really scared. I was so scared. But then I played and I won. I was so happy. Oh God, I can imagine. So happy. So, so happy. And then my third, third, third thing is um, um, Nougat Games 2017. I went, you know, played top schools like Potter Court and then all them schools. And actually beat them hands down and came out with a gold. It was, it was so good. Yeah. Now, I wanted to ask you, you know, during when you, when you said your, your losses, yeah, you said you made some mistake. What kind of mistake that you thought that if you had done it this way, if you don't even know what really happened, it just happened like that. You well, know, you know, yeah. you know, this is a chess game, yeah. And there's something also called position advantage, you know, and all of that. So if you start, if you start losing tempo, because I, I was winning, yeah, and then I started losing tempo, and one mistake she she did it. There's something called for her knights attacking my my queen and my king. She did that, and it was so my queen had to fall. In a, in a game I was winning, so it was, it was, it was, it was sad, really. So like, so the king, the, but, but I, when you showed me that, that game, I saw that the queen has more, more ground than the king. Why? Yes. The, the, the purpose of the game, like I said, is to checkmate the king. Yes. Your opponent's king. Now all the other pieces are supposed to be protecting the king. Yeah. You know, the king is like, the Alpha and Omega and the Almighty Almighty. So it's so big and so heavy that it just stays. Every other piece, every other piece is there to protect the king. Mm -hmm. You know, so the queen is the king's wife. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. So it's, it's like 
more of her duty to make sure her husband is there for her and yeah. safe. Yes, yeah. so that's why she has like so many um, yeah, more ground. More ground yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Because I was thinking that's fine. You know, king now. You know, the king doesn't I'm fight. The head, I'm the head of the. Just, just like, just like, just the king doesn't fight. He has those people there to fight for him. That's why he doesn't have so much. Um, so many moves. No, okay. Yeah, doesn't okay. fight. Just, that makes sense. That makes sense. Just be protected. So like, so like, so that, like, so that the king once you have checkmate the king, you have won the game. Yes, that's it. If, it, the game. if it, other people leave, like all those pawns and everything, if it, they are not the game until you hit the king. Then that is yes. when the game is. Yes, you can have all your pieces on the board, and your opponent checkmates you, and your and your and you've lost. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Just the main purpose is that king. Okay. So even if everybody is still there, exactly. or, 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 or even if everybody like, has lost, mm -hmm. as long as the king has not rejected, yes, yes, yes. Safe. You can you can have you can have just a king and a pawn remaining, okay. and your opponent has some other piece, but the opponent hasn't won. Although he's winning, is a is a winning position for yeah, your opponent, yeah. but he hasn't won. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, over yeah. yet. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's fun. So how has this chess, this thing affected your life? Like how has it helped you in that situation? Do you think it helps you to handle hmm. situations in life? Chess. Let me tell you something. If you don't know how to play chess, <laughs> you're missing a lot. I can see that. I have you're actually. really missing. I told you I learned how to play chess in Jess 1. And from Jess 1 till now, chess has helped me a whole lot. A whole lot. First of all, I'm going to start with planning. Like chess helps you to plan. It helps you to see your two moves ahead. It helps you to strategize. Okay, I'm going to do this, do that. If this goes, if this goes bad, this I have this other plan. No, you have plan B. It helps you put your things in order. Or like if you don't play chess, and then it also makes you smart. Like I, I mean, people. yes, it's, people that play chess have an higher high IQ. Yeah, I give it to a device. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're all here, and chess has also helped in calculating. Like you calculate what you're going to do, you calculate. It's, it's all round, man. You really can't just say it all, but it's, it's all round. Trust me, if you don't know how to play chess. I'm telling you, you're really missing. You go and learn how to play chess. I'm serious. Like, even if you don't want to play it on a professional basis, just just for the fun, for the yes, to sharpen your IQ. You know, after watching all those Nigerian movies that reduce your IQ, you use, use chess to go up. <laughs> Yes. So okay, like okay, now you are finally advice to a child that we can buy children. How like how much does a chess board like cost? Okay, I know when I bought um, when I bought this is the math chess board. Yeah. Okay. This is the math chess board. And then I know when I bought it in twenty twelve. That's a long time ago, man. It was two thousand. It was two thousand naira. And well, I think I went. I went to the mall twenty nineteen again to check for this smart chess board, and it has come up to eight thousand. What? Smart one, yes. This smart one is eight thousand. But there are other small magnetic chess boards that are like five thousand, two thousand. I think I see the very small one that is. Like a size of this, a very small chess board. Okay. Like this size, oh. it's like I'll one. Enjoy it. <laughs> it's, too it's too small, but you're not supposed to get it. I think it's yeah. for those smaller children. Exactly. Yes, it's like it's like one thousand. Like, like, like large, and I can see what I'm doing. Yes, 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 yes yeah. exactly. So, okay. okay, a different size. Uh, do they have the wooden like all the? There's a wood. There's a wooden chess board. Hmm. Those ones are for advanced players. Let's just. <laughs> Let's just leave it. There's a wooden this size or quite this size, but a bit bigger. It's it's wooden, and then the pieces are top notch. Those ones are about fifty k above. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my yes. god! So, so as a regular, yes, I like to get us. this one. Yes, yes, it's, yeah. It's seven thousand, eight thousand. Yeah, quite yeah. affordable. And the pieces and are okay. Uh, yeah. That okay, so yeah, I so right, can I get this is better. And the last person is 2012, right? Do you know, we are 2021 and it's still good, so like it's really a very good one, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's really it's for, a while, it's it's for a while, doing it for a while almost 10 years now. Imagine. Come on. So, 
unless you want to be going to the chess profession and you want to be a very serious player, you can go and buy the redeem one that's 50k if you have the money. <laughs> you know, some people of you are bullies, you know what happened. <laughs> okay, so um, this is the end of the video. I think with this few points of hers, she has convinced uh, me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and convinced you guys that you guys should go and learn how to play chess. Alright? And um, I also learned how to play chess as well, too. And please follow her on IG, Bube is Black. Bube is Black. B U B E I S B L A C K. And yes, if, if you don't understand the video I, like that was that was shown here, and you want to ask some questions, you can comment. You can ask us questions in the comment section. Yeah. So I would ask her, and then she'll reply. I'll reply it on our yeah. behalf. Do you understand? Or you can directly go and ask her on her Instagram page, and she'll reply you guys. Okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice having you guys here with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and comment all right bye bye <laughs>